Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm your host, Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we'll be diving into the life of the 12th President of the United States, a formidable military leader, and an enigmatic historical figure, Zachary Taylor. Ah, good old old rough and ready. Did you know Marco, he earned that nickname because he was often seen in battle wearing civilian clothes and a straw hat? I did. It's a sharp contrast to the tailored suits and fancy hats of today's politicians. Anyway, let's start at the beginning shall we? Born on November 24, 1784, in Barbersville, Virginia, he hailed from a lineage of notable ancestors, including pilgrims who arrived on the Mayflower and even a president, James Madison. Zachary Taylor was one of the last U.S. presidents born before the country officially existed. Makes you wonder, if you're born before a country is a country, does that make you super patriotic or just super old? It's a chicken and egg question. As for Taylor's family, they were prominent plantation owners and his father, Richard Taylor, served as a lieutenant colonel in the American Revolution. Right, his family eventually moved to Kentucky, where they held enslaved people. It's an uncomfortable part of Taylor's legacy, one that we shouldn't gloss over, but also one that should be viewed through the lens of history. True. Now, talents? Besides his evident leadership skills, Taylor was also known for his excellent horsemanship, resilience, and his ability to keep his cool under pressure. It's funny to think of a young Zachary Taylor riding around on his horse, possibly even mastering the 18th century version of parallel parking definitely a handy skill when you're trying to maneuver around cannons and muskets. Now, let's delve into his military career. He was commissioned as a lieutenant in the U.S. Army in 1808 and quickly climbed the ranks. His bravery during the War of 1812, the Black Hawk War, and the Second Seminole War was notable. But it was during the Mexican-American War that Taylor really made a name for himself. Ah, the Mexican-American War, a conflict that arose from the U.S. annexation of Texas. Taylor originally camped in what became the city of Corpus Christi and he was instrumental in securing the Rio Grande, as the southern boundary of Texas. And he didn't just stay on the sidelines. Taylor led his troops in the Battle of Palo Alto and the Battle of Resaca de la Palma, both of which resulted in decisive American victories. Not to forget the Battle of Monterey, where Taylor's strategic decisions forced the city's defenders to surrender. His victories made him a national hero. Some say it was his military prowess in this war that paved the way for his presidency. Exactly Chuck. From the mind behind the History AI podcast comes an electrifying journey into the past. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Dive into a tale where Benjamin Franklin, America's beloved inventor, takes an unexpected journey through time. But with his leap, he unleashes a powerful ripple. Now, with dark forces lurking in the shadows, harnessing this energy to shatter and enslave the world, it's a race against time. Will Franklin fix the future? Or will history rewrite itself? Uncover the secrets, on Amazon presale now. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Time has never been more fragile. Now, back to our main topic. Taylor's presidency. Elected in 1848. He wasn't a typical politician. In fact, he hadn't voted in a presidential election until his own. It's like not going to a party until you're the guest of honor. Taylor was a Whig, but his policies often crossed party lines. And he was a president during tumultuous times. The debate over whether new territories should allow slavery was raging. Taylor, despite being a slave owner himself, did not support the expansion of slavery into the West. A decision that certainly ruffled some feathers. His presidency, however, was cut short. Tragically, after only 16 months in office, Taylor fell ill and died on July 9, 1850. His sudden death sparked conspiracy theories, with some speculating that he was poisoned, though no concrete evidence has ever been found. Lastly, Taylor's lasting impact. While his presidency was brief, his stance on issues like the Compromise of 1850, which he opposed, showcased the deep divisions within the country leading up to the Civil War. That's right. Though he might not have made as lasting an impact as other presidents, his unique blend of military leadership and unconventional political approach makes him a fascinating figure in American history. And there you have it folks, a whirlwind tour through the life and times of Zachary Taylor. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please like, rate, and share our podcast. We love diving into history, and your support helps us keep doing it. Thanks for tuning into the History AI Podcast. I'm Marco. And I'm Chuck. Stay curious, and catch us in the next episode.